Hi Capricorn, Power and Light here coming at you with the reading. Capricorn, it's going to be what are their true intentions in love, alright? I hope it's going to be their true intentions, alright? Yeah, I do. I hope it's not going to be their false BS, alright? And some of you guys could be in a happily ever after situation. So let's not get negative here, right? That could be happening for you, Capricorn. Did I say Capricorn? I hope I did. <laughs> let's see what we have for Capricorn. And their person, yeah, let's have a look at that. For Capricorn and their person, please. The sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting. Wow, gaslighting is like manipulating, right? Perception, focusing out. Somebody could be watching you or you're dealing with somebody who's manipulating you. Either one, right? So if they're not manipulating... Uh, you know, somebody could simply be spying on you, right, with the sunglasses, okay? Or they wear their sunglasses, you know, uh, all day long and at night and stuff like that. You ever meet people like that? <laughs> there used to be a guy at the salsa dance, and, it, you know, it's dark in there. Yeah, they had some lights, right, but it's basically pretty dark in there, and uh, he was wearing his sunglasses all the time. You know, I, I mean, the guy was a weirdo, right? You know, I, I mean, I think he was. So, <laughs> uh, either that, he wanted to cover his face up, right? He didn't think his eyes were pretty, or something like that. Okay, let's see what we got, you guys. <laughs> Not enough. A frustrated in a relationship, Capricorn. Oh, lack of confidence, self self sabotage, fear and ego issues, and jealousy. Okay. Um, Maybe this is your person spying on you, Capricorn, and jealous. Maybe they're frustrated in a relationship. Uh, they could be because that's kind of been, you know, as of lately, right? The recent story. The recent theme. Let's get into the reading to find out. Let's see what we have for Capricorn and their person. And your past energy here, Capricorn, is. Remember, you guys, that these readings could be switched, right? So this could be your person's or your energy in the reading. No matter where we're at, you look like you walked away from somebody, Capricorn. The death card is in your current energy. Let's see here. The block for Capricorn is going to be the chariot card. Wow. So there could be a Cancerian blocking you. You could be ending something because you, you think you can't have victory. Well, let's see what you want. What does Capricorn want? The moon card. Look at all this major arcana. OMG, seriously. Three, three cards. Three major arcana. And there's just four cards there. All right, Capricorn. So let's see what we got for you. Let's look at your fear. Let's get one more shuffle. Thought I shuffled them well, but these cards with all these major arcana. Let's see what we got. Show me Capricorn's doubt or fears. Doubt or fears. Eight of Swords reversed. Your person's energy in the recent past was the Ten of Swords. <laughs> so Capricorn, I feel like you walked away and ended it with somebody, but these cards are yet to be clarified, and they are sometimes incomplete, in my opinion. Okay, it depends. Everybody reads different. Yeah, they do. Your current energy, or their current energy, let's get, let's get this correct, is Judgment. Yeah, not politically correct, though, because we're not, you guys, because it's that's just a big play on people to divide people. For sure it is. So let's see. Let's look at the uh, right here, Page of Swords. Is their block? What they want is the Seven of Cups. What they fear is the Ace of Cups. Mm -hmm. Your person's afraid they're not going to have a new beginning over here in love or in the opportunity. Maybe they have to make up their mind about something with the Page of Swords uh, in the block. Interestingly, the Page of Swords can talk about stalking and spying. Maybe your person is spying on you, possibly, as I was saying. Uh, right now, it looks to me that they are making a decision, judgment, possibly to end something. Let's look here. You guys both look like you're like ending it or walking away, but there's look. The, it looks like there's forgiveness or a rebirth. Why is this Eight of Cups there for Capricorn? The Knight of Pentacles, that's you, Capricorn, holding your gold coin, right? Hopefully it's a uh, nice cryptocurrency, not, you know, uh, the government's currency. <laughs> the Lover's Card. <laughs> 
The lover's card, you guys, is showing up, and uh, uh, that has nothing to do with, uh, what do you call those things? Uh, like a government assistance. I'm not talking about that at all, guys. So don't nobody in the comments go, what are you talking about? Yeah, don't. Yeah. <laughs> has nothing to do with that, all right? So uh, let's see, Capricorn, for you. You could be making a choice to walk away from somebody. Uh, why is that lover's there for Capricorn? Page of Wands. Wow, you look like you look like you're making a choice to walk away from somebody for sure. Queen of Cups. Maybe because of a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or maybe you're walking away from one. Your current energy is the King of Cups and the Death card. So it looks like you're ending a situation with a water sign. Nine of Cups. Maybe you're their, they are your wish. But I feel like there's something incomplete here. Why is the Queen of Cups there for? Capricorn, this is your recently pa recent past energy. So here we go with the completion card here, really. This is the Seven of Pentacles. So, you know, you are, like, wondering, in my mind, if somebody is walking away from somebody. It's that simple. You could be wondering if they're walking away from a water sign. For some of you guys, you're thinking, you're trying to figure it out yourself, if you're going to walk away from somebody. But I don't, I don't think that's the case for some, for most of many. For, you know, I feel like you're trying to figure out if somebody else is going to walk away from somebody. Why is this nine of cups? Your, per, this person could be your wish, and you want them to leave a water sign, maybe, maybe to leave anybody, because you know uh, we're equal opportunity over here, you guys. Yeah, we are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh God, let's see what we got you. <laughs> OMG, sorry guys. Uh, Empress reversed. You're always the Empress, Capricorn, in your readings. Two of Pentacles. Here you are again. All you can do is think, Capricorn. That's all you are doing is analyze, thinking, dwelling reflecting, assessing, are there any more uh, adjectives left? Yeah, because this is what you're doing. On and on and over and over again. Mm -hmm. For me, it looks like you're wondering if you're going to have your wish and somebody's going to end something. That's kind of how it looks here. Mm -hmm. Chariot cards in the block for you with the Eight of Pentacles. It could be a Cancerian blocking you, literally. Because the Queen of Cups and the King is here. Yeah, the family, the Cup family, they're showing up over here, all right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the C, and this is your block. This could be saying a Cancerian's blocking you, and you, you know, that maybe... And you want to put the work in with, like, you want you want to dedicate your person, your, yourself to somebody. Or you want them to dedicate themselves to you. That's what it is, or devote. All right? Eight of Wands. This is the block. Okay. I mean, I feel like this is saying you can't have victory because somebody hasn't left somebody here yet. Mm-hmm. Frustrated in a relationship. Uh, maybe that's you, or maybe that's your person. Because it looks like there's three people here, and somebody's in a relationship. Maybe you're trying to figure out... Or kind of just reflecting on wanting to know, I feel, maybe, if somebody's, your person's going to leave somebody. I feel like your person could be with somebody. And uh, maybe they're in a really jealous relationship. Maybe you're jealous, Capricorn. You could be, right? You're human, right? It's like when we love somebody, we can be jealous. Mm-hmm. Right? Because we want them for us. That's, that's, that kind of just uh, jealousy is all right. But when you're jealous of, you know, your co-worker and you're being really mean, that's awful, right? <laughs> that's, uh, yeah, not not good. Not good character stuff. Okay. So the moon and the high priestess is what you want. Two of wands. Mm-hmm. You're hoping here that somebody's going to choose you. I feel like that's what it is. I feel like you're all in your feelings here. Mm-hmm. And you could be wanting them to choose you, maybe a water sign or... Uh, this is interesting here. Mm -hmm. I feel like you're in the dark here. The moon shows up sometimes because things are hidden or obscure, right? And when there are doubts, right? When things are hidden, of course, it can create doubts. I feel like you kind of feel like you're in the dark here about somebody here. Mm -hmm. Two of Wands, you really want to move forward with them. Why is that Two of Wands there? 
Ten of Cups. Queen of Swords. Mm -hmm. I feel like you just want to know. What you want is you want to move forward with somebody. Yeah, you do. Mm -hmm. You could be using your intuition here about it. I feel like you are. I mean, you're thinking so much here, Capricorn, that you must have thought to yourself, well, now let me try to uh, use my intuition here. Yeah. Let me, yes, let me get into my higher power here because for some reason you were in the Seven of Pentacles in the past, which is assessing. You're currently assessing with the Two of Pentacles. So you can't, you know, there's no more logic left. Now you have to turn to your intuition, which maybe sometimes it's better if we use our intuition. Our intuition is... Uh, is when we connect a source. Logic is when we kind of say, well, that doesn't, uh, you know, logic is uh, you're not using your soul or your heart or your feelings. You're kind of uh, going with what kind of should be or what society wants sometimes or what has been. That's logic. Mm hmm. Let's see your doubt, Capricorn. Eight of Swords reversed and the King of Swords showing up. Every You have the Queen of Swords here and the King of Swords. Uh, Capricorn, your brain's going to melt, okay? You're thinking way too much, okay? Yes, you are. <laughs> and you want somebody to make a decision. I feel like over here you are fearing that uh, they're going to release themselves from their own hell or something like that and make a decision. King of Wands reversed. Maybe they're Aries, Leo, or Sag. Maybe they're dealing with a water sign. Because there's three people here. And there even could be, of course, there could be Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. Because the queen and the king are here. Right? They're both here. Mm -hmm. In the recent past, for your person, they were in the Ten of Swords energy with the Queen of Pentacles. So they had a bad ending with you. Some type of bad ending. And... Uh, currently, they have the Three of Wands and Judgment first, Star card in the reverse. Your person looks like they're making a decision to turn their back on somebody or to manifest a rebirth with you. I feel like this is what you're all thinking of over here, Capricorn. The one, the, the, the subject that you can't get off your mind. Yeah, you've aged, you know, not like fine wine, Capricorn, but like... Uh, <laughs> I'm uh, just teasing you guys. You guys haven't aged, right? But you've just been thinking about this for so long, right? So they have the star card reversed. I feel like they want to manifest something with you, but the star card in the reverse can be like losing hope. Sometimes it is healing things, but it's still kind of up in the air because they, you know, haven't made up their mind entirely. Why do they have the star card? Because over here on the block, they look like they're still trying to make up their mind in Page of Swords, right? The Page of Swords is still... Uh, going over his uh, thoughts and his feelings and his own intuition, kind of. His own guidance, right? Yeah, and it can be spying, too. And we see the spying card over there. <laughs> so this could be Facebook spying or some, you know, some social media spying. The strength card showing up, and that is... Your person is trying to have courage to make a decision here. I feel like it's to come back to you. Let's look at their past energy, Ten of Swords, with the Queen of Pentacles, right? So let's see why that Queen of Pentacles is there. This is incomplete, I feel. Justice reverse. Wow. <laughs> I feel like your person is making a decision here to like end their own union, maybe even a marriage. <coughs> mm-hmm. Page of Cups. Your person could be Libra over here with gem with Justice. I feel like in the past, I feel like this is just saying your person uh, in the recent past was thinking of like bringing you an offer, Knight of Wands, taking action to bring you an offer. I feel like I feel like this Ten of Swords could be ending the situation with someone else. Mm-hmm. <coughs> the block for them is the Page of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. Here they are, still thinking about it. You guys are both kind of, you know, have your thinking caps on until your brains have melted. Mm-hmm. 
And uh, your person here, Capricorn, is the block for them is to figure out whether or not they're going to keep you or hold on to you. I feel like that's it. Let me turn this off, you guys. I have uh, lavender in the atomizer. And it's too strong. Ugh. So I made some fish and I uh, was trying to get rid of that. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got. Let's look at their desire. Seven of Cups. Three of Pentacles reversed. I feel like they want, I feel like they have wishful thinking for you, but I feel like they want to make a hard choice to end a third party, and they could have been doing this for a while here. The Two of Cups, yeah, they're in love with you. And the Ace of Cups is uh, showing up with the Seven of Wands. This is your person's fear or doubt. I feel like they, they're afraid they're not going to have you. They could be afraid you're going to resist them. The man is kind of resisting uh, some type of, you know, uh, trouble there, it looks like. Like below, a little bit below, there could be some people who are really giving him a hard time. Mm -hmm. See what else they are fearing. They're doubting or fearing the Nine of Pentacles. They could think you're married. I feel like your person here kind of thinks you're married or something like that. Somebody's married in this reading, right? Yeah. And maybe they're afraid to be single themselves because somebody is married. Let's fix the camera. You guys can see these cards better. Yeah, I feel like your person here, in they are in this, uh, this is what they're afraid of. <laughs> or they're doubting it, but it's showing up here with the Ace of Cups. So let's get, let's get another card. And uh, show me the energy for, uh, why is it there? The Nine of Pentacles for Capricorn's person. And this reading can be switched, right? The Emperor, they could be Aries, definitely, because the King of Wands is here. Right? And now we have the Four of Cups showing up. Your person is either doubting or fearing you're not going to be single when they get there, but I feel like they are the ones that, in this reading, it looks like they're the ones who are married. It could easily go the other way, though, too. It could. So they're either doubting or fearing uh, that they're not going to have this new beginning with you. Maybe because, you know... Uh, you're not single. I feel like they are the ones. You could be single, but they're afraid they're, you might not be single when they come. And I also feel like your person is afraid to be single on some level if they are married, if they are the ones who are in a union. So we're going to find out all uh, in the extended. Yeah, we are. And we're going to see uh, how they are uh, viewing the connection and how they really feel about you, right? Yes. And also, what's most important to your person, right? It's kind of a, uh, it'll be an eye opener. And what they're willing or unwilling to do, what they hide, and also their true intentions. Thank you so much for joining me. They're all super affordable, you guys. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.